<laughs> He's like on top of a mountain. He pole vaulted at that time. He put his arm on the guy's body in front of him. Number 34. Uh, here's kind of a garbage tip in made by Anderson, the freshman. Kind of bounced around and went in. In the game for Louisville. Here comes your 360 turn. All you small backcourt players have to learn to do that. You got away with a little bit of a walk that time. And Elijah Watt collected his fourth personal foul, so he sits down. Greg Anderson now to the middle. Benny Anders has come on, replacing Elijah Watt. Anders, a 6'5 junior. Houston by six. Franklin lost it, and then called for the double throw. Leave the ball. Good call by the ref, Franklin. Leave him alone. They uh, can speak in four different dialects. Nigerian can speak French. He decided to go to Houston. He was going to visit four or five schools. He went there because he liked the weather. Very similar to uh, you, Al. You speak four different dialects of English. But Akeem does speak what English, French, uh, plus uh, Nigerian. Nigerian, yeah. Let it fly from there. You can't, you can't give a guy a shot from the top of the bow like that. 14 points for Wagner. They're going to make a move. they got to make it now with Akeem out of the ball game. Houston by four, 11.45 remaining. Second half. Don't let Anders get going. If Anders gets going, he's, he's tough. Jeff Hall watching uh, Franklin Hall back on the floor for the Cardinals of Louisville. He's in a double stack down low. Young on the pull away. See, they even had a hold of the ball, but Young's hands are so strong, they couldn't knock the ball out of his hands. Michael Young has 18. Houston by six, as you see. Here's Hall. Yes. Jeff Hall with his first field goal. He's averaging 12 a game. Could not uh -oh. get uh, unleashed in the first half. Louisville's close to turnovers, but not getting them. Houston's well coached and breaking up the pressure. Neutralizing the pressure. Louisville surprisingly has got away with a man-to-man -man all the way so far. Alvin Franklin, sophomore point guard out of Lamarck, Texas. Anderson. Nice. Number 54, Greg Anderson. Greg Anderson has seven points. Six-point Houston lead, 58-52. Again room for Wagner. Milt <laughs> Wagner is a junior from Camden High School in Camden, New Jersey. The Cardinals come along usually late in the season. Since 1980, Denny Crum's record is 38 wins and two losses in the month of February. Their tradition has been a slight slump somewhere throughout, although a slump might be two losses, uh, three losses. Here's Hall. Good. Jeff Hall. Jeff Hall has brought Louisville with him, too, and a foul on the play. Should call a timeout, but you don't have that freedom anymore because each team is only allowed three timeouts a game if the game is on television. Oh, hello there. We screen this forward down here, and this guard standing right there. You come off this pick, he can't throw it to you, can he? Come right into there. Look for him right there and stick it in. Understand? Go to the open spot and come off those picks. And Milt, it wouldn't hurt her. Jeff, to get down here, it would hurt So that when the screen sets, we can get the shot from right there. What the coach is telling him, he's telling his guards, he's got a three-guard offense out there, he's telling them to start at low positions down on the baseline, then pop into the open position to take the 15 or 18-footer. All right, Alan, two weeks, our college basketball begins in earnest one of the country's hottest rivalries. The last two national champions, Dean Smith's North Carolina Tar Heels and Jim Valvano's North Carolina State Wolfpack uh, square off big ACC battle. That'll be Saturday, January 7th, 2 o'clock Eastern time right here on NBC. Jeff Hall hit the uh, free throw a moment ago, completing a three-point play. So Houston leads by one, 58-57. Eric Dickens back in the lineup handling the ball. Second half, nice move. Michael Young, 42. Michael Young by three, 
60 to 57. Here's Wagner in traffic. Oh, here's Hall, who's been hot. Wagner. Nice follow. And the foul. The basket should be good there. Yes, Forrest gets credit. So they say a goal 10, no foul. Manuel Forrest with the field goal, and the Houston lead is down to one. Watch the shot now. The ball is on its way down. Yes, I think the ball was on its way down. Good call by the ref. Eight points for Forrest. Houston in possession. They lead by one. You don't see this often today. Louisville's playing a three-guard offense to neutralize the physical strength of Houston. U of H. Recovery by Anderson. Young is up front with Anderson and Winslow. Dickens handling the ball in the backcourt now with Franklin. And a man reverse it around to Young's side. Here they go on to Young's side. Eric Dickens starting point guard in his last season. Traveling. Not traveling violation. Will Nick Fresco, Fresno State, report to the front gate. Nick so Houston Fresno will Fresno throw State, it in. Front gate. Remember, Elijah Wan has four fouls. He's sitting on the bench. Different club out there without him. Obviously. And Dickens running the club right now. Here's the guy who'll put it up. Michael Young. And rebounded by Barry Sumter, the 6'11 freshman. Freshman doesn't realize how much time. He have 10 seconds. 10 seconds is a long, long time. Tried to kick the ball away too fast. Freshman panicked. Best thing about a freshman, I said 10,000 times, is that they become a sophomore. <laughs> uh, this is Sumter. And the three guard liner with Paul. Wagner with the ball. And Gordon. Sumter and Forrest up front. Look for Wagner from the top of the bowl. Someone get in the middle. That middle's open to 2-3. Forrest. Move that ball a little bit faster. Forrest off the spin. Beautiful move. Yes, and it counts. The moving the ball good. He gives the head and shoulder fake, and he plays it off the glass. I thought he charged, personally. In the game for Houston, number 32. So that's number four committed by Winslow. Michael Young. Uh -oh. Michael Young sits down. Benny Anders is back. And here comes uh, Akeem Olajuwon. So he will play with four. In comes the equalizer. The whole image of the game changes when he walks on the court. And Guy Lewis also inserting Reed Geddes. Wholesale shuffling by Houston. Charles Jones back for Louisville. Manuel Forrest, two for three from the line today. For the season, he is four for eight. Six, seven, 200 pound junior from Moore High School in Louisville, Kentucky. Hakeem off the boards. Now I expect that they will push the ball into Hakeem just about every time down, if they're patient. And here's Elijah Wan. A team has to learn to fan that ball out, as I said earlier. They'll kick it back into him again. He'll block that one. <laughs> Lancaster Gordon, beautiful. How would you like someone to block a shot on you, Mob? Then the ball come back to you, and you take an 18 foot and you can it. Well, Gordon going right back. <laughs> and this time from long range, so Louisville by three. Here's Dickens. Oh. Yes. I like Dickens. He doesn't Number seem 14. to get into the game as much as I think he should, but he, he's, a, he's a nice ball player. Here's Hall. And rebounded by Akeem. Just under seven minutes left in the game. Louisville by one. Uh, Elijah Wan now with seven rejections. Andrews. Oh, great shot. He recocked in the air that time. He wanted to dump it down to Elijah Wan, but Elijah Wan was covered. Now watch Anders. Once he gets a basket, wham, he's off to the races. He's out of the starting blocks. Crowd really enjoying it. Just under capacity, which is 7,000. Good crowd for this first shot out classic. Charles Jones rebounded by Elijah Wan. Well, Louisville keep putting the ball back here. Get the fifth foul on Elijah Wan. Sumter able to break it up. 
Here's Gordon. Oh, Elijah Wan, Elijah Wan, Elijah Wan. What are they calling that? Goaltending? No way. No way was that goaltending. And here's another right, one. Watch it. Call it yourself out there, gang. No way. Look at his timing. Watch him go up. There we go. Oh, they call the charge. See where Lancaster Gordon? Here's another angle on it. Oh, here's another block by Elijah Wan. See his timing? He keeps his eye on the ball and so quick. And a charging foul was called on Lamb. Everything he, he leads, but uh, Denny, I'll see you in March, Crumb. And Guy Lewis, uh, I'd like to see Guy Lewis get his first uh, championship. I'd like to see Denny Crum get Coach of the Year. He's never gotten Coach of the Year, which is surprising. And since his arrival at Louisville, Cardinals uh, won it all in 1980, made it to the Final Four five times, three of the last four. Here's Michael Young on the gallop. Oh, oh, and it's Houston by three. Slow him down again, Louisville. Slow him down. Take that crowd out of the game. They are great coaching by Denny Crum there. Beautiful play by Michael Young. And well, he missed the shot, but Elijah Wan finished it up. All right, now we're going with an outside game against an inside game. There's the three guard offense. Wagner, Gordon, and Hall. That's Hall with it. And Sumter down low, along with Jones. Jones getting it back. Bad pass. No, it still should go to Houston. Here's Akeem. I watch. Uh, he'll go off the glass. Michael will miss the shot. Akeem just takes it from the outside and moves it in. Here's another angle on it. Watch him moving in from the outside. Nothing fancy. Just automatic. He doesn't know how to do French pastry. He hasn't played that long. Nice. There's the opening in the middle. Side right. Oh, nice. Oh, no, no. That's right. That's right. That's right. So the basket counts. Number 20, Milt Wagner. And Wagner receives credit. Yeah. He's off his shot. The ball was in the rim. It was touched in the rim cylinder by Houston. Good play by Jones to break up that lead from Geddes. Here's Gordon. And rebounded by Jones. Jones plays big in big games. And here's two points by Hall. <laughs> Jeff Hall, three field goals, six points. All right. Now Houston. Jeff Hall overreacted, committed the foul on Dickens. Foul on Louisville by one, 67-66. So Hall, who had the slow start, has come on. Five minutes left to go. Remember, Akeem has four fouls. Has to play a little hesitant. Oh, nice touch by Betty Anders. His second field goal, and it's Houston by one, 68-67. We're down to 445 left in the game. There's Hall off the overplay. Nice, yes. Is he burning the net? Is he on a roll? He should visit Las Vegas. <laughs> one point, Louisville lead. Nice pressure up court. Louisville's turn on their afterburner on their press. Young back to help. Now here's Geddes, met by Hall. Michael Young. Dickens. Like him, like, like that kid. Eric Dickens with his third field goal. And it's Houston by one as we seesaw. Now we go to another 18 foot shot. Lancaster Gordon should take it. No, Anders come out too quick on him. A little patient. One of those back line men pop up to the top of the foul line, either Jones or um, uh, Sumter. All right, now you got it set perfect. Now Move in. Mac Wagner, move in a little bit, will you? <laughs> now you got it set. There we go. And a timeout call. This a backcourt that has been shooting close to 60% from the field. Began slowly in the first half, but uh, they have come on in the second half. It is really heating up with just under four rebounds remaining. Houston has three left. Louisville, two. Remember, the uh, NCAA revoked the rule, which awarded the automatic two foul shots for any foul committed in the uh, final two minutes of the game. So they've reverted back to the rule that was in effect prior to the start of this season. Two free throws for a non-shooting foul will be awarded only uh, if the uh, foul is determined by the officials to be intentional. So or a shooting old, foul. Right. So we're back to the old rule yeah. with two minutes left. One and one if you're in the bonus. That means each team has to commit six fouls before you get to the one and one. There's five fouls on Houston, four on Louisville. And it's Houston by one, 70 to 69. Here's Gordon. Oh, I, I don't know. I would I call that no good. That's right. 
refs are doing a dynamite job. Dynamite job, in my opinion. Well, Barry Sumter does not get uh, credit for the field goal. A referee is a person that should have, have control under a stress situation. And that ball was in the cylinder. Look out. Uh -oh, that's, that's a back backboard. Over. Yep. Over and back. We gotta be, I got to be careful. I'm starting to call this game. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> well, you can because you set it up, Al, by saying nice things about the combination of Craig Peterson and uh, Larry Yamashita. And Pat Yamashita, I say nice things about him because he's a black belt. <laughs> he is the policeman in right. real life. Craig Peterson of Hall Fireman. three. Hall three. Here's Hall. And rebounded by Young. Got to get your fast break going again, Houston. And we're approaching three minutes remaining. In the game, Houston by one. They have the ball. Here's Young. And rebounded by Sumter. Uh, correction, Andrews on that last shot. Basket here will give him the lead. Down under three minutes. Milt Wagner. Oh, did he throw a powerful? Elijah Watt off the boards. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. Pretty soon they'll start the chess game. The coaches start getting into the game around now. Elijah Watt playing with four. Oh, oh. Nice move. that was something new, Akeem. He has 15 points. Akeem Ladrim, six for ten from the floor. Big to the left and one to the right with a baby hook. Here's the big shot for Louisville. Let one of the older guys take it. I'd like to see Lancaster take it. Oh, that's a charge. No. Ooh, he said he stepped in. Anders commits the foul, his second. Houston by three, 72-69. Two minutes and ten seconds remaining. You judge it. You people judge it. Boy, they're playing hard out there. Physical. I still can't get over Houston's practice yesterday. It was such a physical practice. Looking for an alley loop pass. There it is. This is Hall. Look for the shot, Milt. You didn't look that time for the shot. And here is Wagner. Out of two minutes left. Big basket right here. Probably the key possession of the game is right now. There's Hall. He tried to use the screen, could not. So down low, one of the guards didn't pop out to the open space. That's what Denny said in the last time out. There you go, Hall. A little bit far out, but you can bottom it out. Oh! <laughs> Gordon missed on the stuff off the rebound. And it's a white ball, says the official. That means the Cougars of Houston will lead by three in possession. Now, this ball dips in and comes out. Now, watch Lancaster Gordon at six foot three go up there and try to cuff Duncan. All right, now maybe they might pull up a little bit here, Houston. Let's see what Franklin does. He's running the show. He's the glue. Michael Young will stay out the court now. No, they're going into Elijah Wan. <laughs> NC, no contest. 17 for Elijah Wan, five point Houston lead, 74 69. We have a minute 10 remaining in the game. Got three timeouts left, two timeouts left for Louisville. Must score this time down. Must, Marvin. Danny Crump looking to talk it over. The Cougars of Houston, ranked number three in both Associated Press and United Press International, leading Louisville. Yeah, fake the pass. They'll play fast and win. foul foul anyone else the thing you must remember now is that louisville is in the one-on-one -one. so if they get fouled they get a chance to get the second shot on the other end of the court they can still afford to get two fouls without louisville or without houston going to the one-on-one -on -one. So both these clubs are mediocre foul shooting teams houston 63 percent here's hall a 62 percent uh, free throw team so hall uh, missing from deep a five-point houston lead oh good steal beautiful here's hall beating franklin 74 71. Uh, houston i'd call a timeout now houston you got three plenty of time left he almost kicked the ball away 
Louis. He's also foul. It'll make any difference. Try to steal the ball. Put pressure on. Come out. Pressure. Pressure man to man. More pressure. Come on. That's it. That's only the fifth team foul. That's what I'm saying. They can give two fouls. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, the guys forgot that uh, the rule has been uh, rescinded. Maybe because they've been doing it for the first uh, third of the season, or 20% of the season. Uh, you can give one more now. Um, Houston does not want to call a timeout, I guess, because they don't want Louisville to set up something on defense. All right. 28 seconds tight. left. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that uh, play. Green trying to steal the ball. Number 42. And if they call an intentional foul here, it would be two shots. They did not in this case. Yeah. Second personal, sixth team foul. All right. The next foul by either club means to the line of the one and one. We're back to the old rule. No, all right, they want to foul the king. The king is not an outstanding foul shooter. Foul. They want to put him on the line. Number 33. 52%. On the season, but uh, three for four today. Akeem, right. Akeem, you go to the line. Shooting one and one. If you make the first one, you get the second one. If it was last Thursday, right. if you missed the first one, you still have taken the second one. Nice stat line by Elijah Wan has been foul plagued throughout. Big shot, son. Houston by four, 75, 71. Twenty six seconds remaining. That was a big one because it put it on an odd number. Louisville needs the ball three times. Five point lead. Here's Hall over Elijah Wan. He had to change the direction of that shot. And Louisville maintains possession. We're down to 17 seconds, as you see. They're in the zone, a 2-3 zone, with Elijah Wan in the one-man zone all by himself. Drive, look for the three-point play. Nice move. Uh oh he's gone. Elijah Wan's gone. That's his fifth. What he probably will do here is make the first shot, miss the second one on the first one. Houston doesn't want to call a timeout. There's 10 seconds left. They have three timeouts to go. Here it is. The ball goes up. Jones gets the rebound. And there is the fifth foul on the man, the dream. So 19 points, 13 rebounds, seven blocked shots for Elijah Wan. Charles Jones, who is four for five today and has uh, come on in his uh, free throw shooting. But I think if he makes the first one, right, now he should miss the second, Danny, because you need the ball twice. So miss this one on purpose, and if you can get the ball and score, then you only need it once. Making this one doesn't help because you're still in an odd number, two points. There's no three-point play in the rules this year. I don't know why you call ice him. Houston, why don't you ice this guy? Well, it's too late now. James Jenner. James Jenner, a 6'2 sophomore, has come on. Here he is. Come on for Louisville. Put him in to turn the ball over. Good call. Good call. Ah, what you're saying. <laughs> a reminder, tonight on NBC, first camera takes an incredible look at underwater birthing. Is it a California fad or a better way to bring children into the world? This and more on uh, first camera than on Knight Rider. Um, Michael and Kit race against the clock to locate a time bomb. And on Sunday night at the movies, Bruce Jenner, Harry Belafonte, and LeVar Burton star in Grambling's White Tiger. The uh, true life experiences of a white football player who enrolls in an all-black college. That's all tonight on NBC. Nice, easy living on Christmas Day. <laughs> I want to say Merry Christmas to my number one fan, my mother. Your best friend. You only have one of them. All right, let's see what Charles Jones does. Oh, well, he meant, I didn't, well, that's their strategy. Um, that's nice pressure foul. report. Foul right away. Foul, 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 foul. That's it, right away. Now, again, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Yesteryear, last week, it would have been a two-shot foul. Two seconds elapsing. So eight seconds for Mary. Jenner committed the foul. A 
three-point Houston lead. On the line for Houston. In the game for Ma, the George Binkel, our producer, asked me to say Merry Christmas to his mother. That would be a nice idea. Well, it's done. On our producers today, George Finkel, our director, John Gonzalez, our stat man, Kenny Albert. Number 20, Alvin Franklin. And here's Alvin Franklin, who is an 81% foul shooter. He is one for two today. All right, they take everyone off the line. They set up a, like a zone back court. The uh, first shot is not that important. You've got to get on even numbers to three point spread. Okay. Drive to the basket, Hall. Drive. Don't shoot from outside, Milton. Don't shoot from there. Drive. No, you had to drive. You had to drive. Houston, 76. Well, the point of it is that two points would have had no value. Thank you for coming But they took the outside shot, and Houston has come up with a three-point victory. They have defeated Louisville by the score of 76 to 73. Excellent ball game. I, you know, Ma, the MVP, Elijah Wan, deserved it I, because of his intimidation inside the ball. All right, the most valuable player for today's game, Akeem the Dream Elijah Wan out of Houston. He'll receive a plaque in recognition of his being selected the uh, game most valuable player, and Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to be shared equally by the general scholarship funds of both schools in honor of their participation in today's game. And this money will go towards assisting students at uh, those institutions to further their chosen academic fields of interest. Akeem the Dream, our most valuable player. Houston. With Al McGuire, the Cougars of Houston have defeated the Cardinals of Louisville by the score of 76 to 70. Three. And with me is uh, Coach Denny Crum, who is still one short of victory number 300. Well, that's a good team. Uh, I thought we played pretty well. We had opportunities down the stretch. I think we were down 69 to 70, and we got three consecutive shots and three trips down the floor and didn't hit any of them. And that would if we could have just got the lead at that spot, I think we had a chance. But uh, they're a good team. And physically they're a lot tougher than we are especially with Billy at half strength uh, but I thought he played well considering his injury but he just uh, couldn't rebound and move like he shot the ball pretty well they're a good team and we got nothing to be ashamed of we played hard so it's uh, it's the kind of team you like to play this time of year all right Denny referring to Billy Thompson has been bothered by the back injury Al McGuire alongside a man who saw a lot of Akeem the dream and that is Charles Jones Charlie Jones, how, how did you play Kareem man-to-man uh, -man the whole game? He did an excellent job. He ended up fouling out. Well, I tried to make him work for everything he was going to get, and I just tried to beat him down the floor, up and down the floor, and try to get a good position, block him out, and go to the ball for a half. Did his strength kind of wear you down? It wore me down. He's, he's strong, and he's good, and he's hard to stop, and he's taller than I am, and so he has an advantage right there, and I just have to work much harder than he does. Danny, did you... Consider the three-guard offense for most of the game. That was your way of beating them? Well, they, they played that zone, and uh, if we don't have our shooters in there, since we're not near as strong inside, it's hard for us to get the ball inside. If Billy was 100% healthy and we could throw him the ball in the middle, middle the then then you could suck that zone back in and get shorter you know, outside shots. But uh, without him, he's our primary inside threat. And without him healthy, it made it really tough for us against that zone. Let me ask you one more question. It's a coach's question. I thought that Jones should have missed the second shot. You had a um, uh, a four point. You were four points down. Did you, that enter your mind at all? Yeah, but it, but when you got guys like they got on the inside, yeah. even if he misses it, you probably aren't going to get any rebounds, and uh, then you're still down. You better off making try to get the three point. Maybe get the steal or foul them quickly, and maybe get the ball back and have a chance that way. I don't think uh, you're going to miss one there and let and get the ball off the board against that group. Thank you. Credit to basketball and an excellent coach. Dan. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and the family. To also to you, Charles. Thank back you. to Moss. Okay, Al Guy Lewis, the uh, head coach at uh, Houston, looked uh, tough for you when Akeem picked up number.